Hello YouTubers, welcome to the Sega Genicast. My name is Michael and we'll be continuing my let's play of Sonic Adventure for the Sega Dreamcast. And we're back on our continuation of pursuing the egg carrier and basically it's the same mission as the other aerial mission that we did with Sonic and Tails before, it's just a mindless shooting game. So to avoid the repetition I want to cut ahead to the actual part that matters in this stage. So I'll see you guys then. So, with my professional editing skills, I hope the transition for you guys was seamless. And here's something that's a little bit different than our first encounter with the egg carrier in the sky. Apparently we have a boss battle with the egg carrier itself and that's pretty cool if it wasn't for one little thing. Um, this boss battle is super easy. You have no idea how e easy it is. As you see there, I just simply killed him with a bunch of missiles, I guess, from my airplane. All I really did was mash the A button at it and I mean I'm serious guys that's all I really did and you know I just had manhandled that boss like no other. So yeah I'm really ecstatic right now that we just beat the last aerial mission for Sonic Story and I guess there's going to be a cutscene that's going to show up so I guess I'll talk to you guys later after the cutscene. You are right, Sonic. Let's go find Amy Rose. In the meantime, let's go explore around this egg carrier and then cutscene. Don't get too many ideas, you fools. You haven't seen the power this best really has. Get a load of this. Get used to that line. We're gonna hear more of it later. Let's go see what's behind that door in the distance. This must be the way to the sky deck. Okay, for a person who has an IQ of 300, he sure doesn't know how to create really difficult puzzles because we just solved that like in no time. So here we are in stage H of sky deck and I, I kinda like the zone for the music but I don't like the zone for like, because there's so many places that you could just jump and fall to your death. Because like right underneath me right now, it, th we're obviously in the sky, so if I fall down there, it's automatically gonna take a life away from me, which is a bummer, man. So okay, we're gonna jump over these walls, and then we're gonna we're gonna jump up and climb up. I didn't mean jump, climb up. <laughs> How do you jump up a ladder? But climb up this ladder, and we're gonna jump on this spring right here. And man, I really hate these walls because they're pretty darn reminiscent of the icicles of in Ice Cap Zone. If if you haven't seen that video, you should go watch it and see how irritated I get by those things. Anyways, we just got a life from that, and we're gonna do a quick sprint right there. Hit this nice lamp post. And gosh, man, that's that's another reason why I hate these stages, these freaking walls. Man, they're so slow, and like I'm not very good at speed running on this stage because of those walls. Like if you try to you can jump and try to get ahead but sometimes sonic doesn't really stick to the walls very well and then it ends up causing your demise right there Ooh, 
Ooh, can I get- Yes, I got it. I got the speed shoes, which should help me a plenty bunch, except if it wasn't for this part of the stage right here. I don't know what's with it, but the game's supposed to put me, like, on a kind of track, but somehow it, it puts me in, like, a free-flowing mode so that, like, I always get stuck here because it's always glitching and, yeah, it's annoying. Another part of the stage I hate. Why are there so many ladders, man? And then, of course, Sonic Team had to toss in these ladders from Red Mountain Zone because they think that was a good idea, and look at that. Look at that. That thing caused my death. Ugh. Man, I hate that part of the stage as well. Man, there's so many things I hate about this stage. I mean, uh, maybe I should stop being negative and talk about the good parts. How could I not when I almost died there again? Jeez, man. But, um... Yeah, I guess, yeah, I can start with that nice music in the background, I, I guess, I'm... Actually, that's the only thing that's good about this stage, in my opinion. I ne like, whenever you play Sonic Adventure and you completed a level, you can also play that level again in a trial mode. And this level, I never, ever play again after, you know, I only play just to complete the story kind of thing. And apparently the developers of this game thought that those walls were going to be a really good gimmick that everybody would enjoy and remember. So they made even bigger ones like the one I'm traversing across right now. I mean, gosh man. And then now there's this huge arm cannon that we have to take out. It doesn't say it, but basically when you reach the, you know, the end of this part of the stage, there's like a gun that you can aim right into the cannon and it will destroy it. Yo, somebody turn the lights back on. Jeez, I can't see what I'm doing, man. That's uh, that's also another flashy gimmick about this stage is that, like, sometimes the I I guess apparently the ship is heading into some clouds and then it gets all dark all of a sudden. And um, I guess the walls aren't all that bad because you can also jump on them. But as I've already said before, you can fall off of them and they could be quite painful to deal with if you don't really play them that much, like me. Yay! But we're gonna go over here, and here was the gun I was talking ah, it's not really a gun, it's a rocket, but what the heck ever. You aim that rocket and you destroy it, as you can see there. And then we're introduced to another part of this stage, and um, I think this part of the stage is a little bit better. Basically, you're like on the top of the ship, and occasionally, like, the ship would change, like, hmm, how, how would I describe it? It, like, changes the angle of its wings, and it causes you to, like, you know, fall at a weird angle. Like, for example, if the ship's... Like, sometimes you would be falling to the right and sometimes you would be falling to the left. Like, right now, the um, the wind or whatever is pushing me backwards. And uh, I guess it's not too bad because it doesn't do it all the time, but it's still pretty darn annoying. Oh, no, 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 don't hit me, please, no. Please, please, please don't hit me. Please, okay, okay, that's good. That's really good. All right. So we're gonna climb up this track up here, jump on that spring, and yes! Finally we got some rings. Man, I I almost had a heart attack from there for a second. Okay, so we're gonna go into my favorite part of this stage, is where we go on these speed panels and dash across Bankman's fighter jet's launch pad. I mean, that's kinda cool. If it wasn't for these annoying platforms that keep fluctuating in their height and stuff. But okay, we're gonna head into basically the last part of this part of the stage. Oh yes, there is a third part of the stage. Now, as to call is explaining that, you know, there's a big cannon that you have to destroy and stuff, and wherever the cannon's shooting at, you have to approach that rocket and you gotta hit him, like, just like that. It takes one hit to kill him and that's fabulous. Now, the third, now this part right here is the third part of the stage, and I, I, I really hate it because not only is that, remember how I said before about how the fighter tends to go at different angles and stuff like that? Well, that, that effect's even more accentuated with these really freaking weird um, camera angles and stuff. It, I swear to goodness, I get a headache every time I play this game. I mean, it may not look so bad right now, because, well, you guys aren't the ones who are playing it. I am. And gosh, man, just... Just looking at this view right here makes me want to cock my head to the side a little bit to the right. You know, it's it's weird. It's I don't like that effect. It's it's annoying. Plus, also the way this level is designed is that remember in Ice Cap Zone there used to be the second part of that stage where like if you fall down you basically have to replay that whole part of the stage again. Well, oh my goodness, that is a that's like that's like triple. Here. 
it's that bad. This this level can be pretty dang hard if you do not know what you're doing. And I have the nasty feeling that the Let's Play curse is going to come into play in this level. I'm really scared. I really don't want it to happen, but yeah, it might happen. But let's just see how this ball rolls. But let's hope, you know, that, you know, God has spared me any mercy. Yet. You know, gosh, uh, ah, I hate this. Oh, oh, no, no, please don't fall off. Oh, 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 okay, that's good. No, no, please don't. No, 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 are you serious? Ah, gosh. Okay, guys, you're going to have to definitely turn down your volumes at this section of the stage. Because I'm going to fall down so many freaking times. I... Mm, gosh, man, there's so many parts of this stage where it's so trippy and you can fall off so easily. Okay, we're gonna jump at the- What the heck? The homing attack didn't work! Ah, jeez! Come on, yo! We can do this, come on, Sonic! Ooh, man, ah, those things falling down from the sky don't help any even much more further, jeez. Oh, come on, jump off that freaking ladder! Okay, finally on that spring, alright, wh why are you climbing backwards, Sonic? Stop it! Okay, that's- that's... Oh, okay, I guess it's weird. I guess I'm technically heading in the right direction, so... Okay, jump off. On... Okay, now I'm gonna hit the spring. Oh, boy, I'm really praying right now that I don't fall off. I, I... No! No! Oh, oh, okay, at least I didn't fall all the way down, you know? That's that's kind of good. Ooh, man, I, I... I don't know what to say right now. I think I should... I'm really tense. Um, I don't know what, to, what I want to say right now. Oh! Oh my gosh, stop that, Sonic! Freaking- Oh no! Are you serious? Oh my, what the- Uh, please, please, come on. Controls work with me here, please. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm getting like a really huge migraine right now. Yeah, this is the part of the- Oh my goodness, why did the camera angle change? That's- That's annoying! No, please- Okay, good, good, I'm on that ladder again. Ooh, ooh, oh my- so scared right now. Oh, are you walking the wrong climbing? Not walking, climbing the wrong way, Sonic. Uh, I don't know right now, but you can kind of hear my teeth ch chattering. And uh, oh, jeez, uh, come on, Sonic, you, you can do this. Please work with me. Oh, come on, we're we're at the last part of the stage. Okay, I I, I definitely don't want to screw up here. And why the shadows are on the wall? Oh, I don't know, whatever. But oh. Come on, jump off, Sonic. Please, jump, jump, jump off. Jump off. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of that, that glitch that Knuckles had in Sonic 06 where he got stuck to the freaking wall. All right, so we're going to climb down, walk down this ramp, and... Oh, I'm so tense, man, because I'm afraid, because I don't want to get into that hassle again, you know? <sighs> I'm so... I, I, I don't know, I... I don't want to say anything until I officially beat this stage. Because I don't want to screw it up. Okay, am I almost there at the goal? Am I? Am I? Am I? Yes! Yes, I'm at the capsule! Yes, let's jump on it, baby! Woohoo! We beat Sky Deck! Guys, you you have no idea how happy I am right now to have beaten Sky Deck. Is that it? It might be, but let's check out the bridge. Okay, Sonic, what the heck do you mean that that's it? That was a lot. Give me a freaking break. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And after this video, I'm going to hold a celebration in honor of me beating Skydeck. You, I am so happy right now, you have no idea. And before I go, I want to wish you guys peace.